Hey guys and welcome back to a new accumulation zone trade recap. So first of all, before we get started today, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get access to the free session pro indicator. All you have to do for that is you join our discord server and in the welcome chat, you have to click here to get accepted into the community. And then afterwards you click on the indicators here. And now we look for the session pro indicator. Then we open up this link. We scroll down a little bit and then we click here on add to favorite indicators. Afterwards, we're opening up trading view at the session pro indicator right here in our favorites tab to our chart. So let's start to look at um, what happened on USD JPY on a higher time frame first. So the first step for me every day when I start trading is to mark out the previous day high and low. And we had the previous day high and low right here from Wednesday. I'm using New York local time. So this already happened here on Tuesday. So we find out the high, which is right here. And we are going to find out the low, which is also during the New York kill zone happening right here, high and low of the day. We have a very similar high. We just, cr we just went a little bit above London session high, maybe a few pips or something. And that's the areas that are going to be very interesting for me coming into the day. All right, if we now start to look at what happened on Thursday, we quickly see, okay, we consolidated also during the Asian kill zone. We did not break these lows or this low yet. We consolidated within this yesterday, previous day, high and low range. We consolidated right around the VWAP. Okay. I only consider taking trades right here at the beginning of the London kill zone and within the London kill zone, same for New York, but I only took my trades during the London kill zone and one trade later on when I was recording the risk management video. So let's check it out. I traded on a five minute chart and ideally I wanted to see either the high being taken out or the low being taken out first. So what did we get? after the London uh, Asian kill zone consolidation, we went into the London session, into the London kill zone. I did not trade with indicators today. I was testing some price action strategies. And what happened? I saw this beautiful picture perfect M pattern forming here. And we broke down to the downside. We closed below the VWAP and I entered short right on this candle with a one bar stop, taking profit at the previous day's low for a total risk reward of almost 3.25. So a very, very good opportunity, especially after spotting this M pattern here on the five minute chart already. I was sure that this thing is going to break down to the previous day's low. And also if we regard the timing, we had this candle at 2.30. So that's a new half an hour window to drop this thing down until the London open. So basically to fake people out short before London is opening up, reversing and liquidating all those positions. Basically, that was my idea played out perfectly. Could have also went the other way. I mean, that's trading. You never know guaranteed. I, I'm, I just saw the opportunity in this M pattern here in this formation with the Doji and this beautiful bearish engulfing below the VWAP with a beautiful retest and a continuation to the downside. And if we have a closer look at this exact trade setup that I took without looking at all my indicators because I was testing something new, what do we see? We had a squeezing Scarpa Pro and the color turned red right on this candle. So this would have been condition one. If we use the Scarpa Pro stochastic RSI strategy, that I teach on the Discord and the Telegram group and here on YouTube, of course. So we had the stochastic RSI crossover here and then we had a new bearish crossover right here. Do you see the divergence? A stochastic RSI divergence. We made a higher high, but at the same time here on the stochastic RSI, we made a lower high. So this is a beautiful indication for a bearish crossover above 50. It took a while for it to play out because we wait for the second condition that is the Scarpa Pro to turn red. So also that's changing the candle color here as well. If the Scarpa Pro is red here, the candles turn red as well. And we wait for the third confirmation. It would be the close below the VWAP here. 
or conditions agree. And that's exactly when I entered into the market as well. So you don't have to know about those price action patterns whatsoever. You can simply go with the strategy and you could have taken the same trade. Point out the previous low and high of the day. And it's working out really well. Let's continue to this next part of this beautiful price action day. Because I was looking for a reversal before below the previous day low here around the New York session. I was looking for a reversal because that's most of the time when a market is very likely to reverse and we just broke the previous day low and then continued up higher. So I was looking for reversal signs. I know you're not gonna say, oh, that's all gonna be hindsight, but it wasn't. I was actually looking for a reversal below the previous day low and it worked out really well. I went down to the one minute time frame to see a little bit more details of what happened here. At the beginning, I wasn't totally sure that this thing is going to reverse. That's why I looked for confirmation. It's as simple as that. And now here's the big question. What do you see here? What do you see? What pattern niches do you see that is being formed here? Pause the video. Look at your chart. It's setting here right at the London Open from 3 a.m. New York local time, roughly until 3.45. What do you see here? Pause the video and have a guess and guess what you saw here in the comments below. Very simple, we had a head and shoulder patterns here and an inverted one. Left shoulder, right shoulder, and here's our head. Beautiful setup after which we reversed at the low of the day, at the low of this new day, at the low of Wednesday, and making new higher highs. We broke the previous day's high as well. All right, guys, let's have a little closer look at this head and shoulders pattern, how it, how it actually formed. So what I like to do, if I'm looking at it for a reverse on a one minute chart, I'm pointing out the timings. I wanna know where higher time frame traders are being trapped. So I'm marking up on the chart every 15 minute candle window. So it would be at 3 a.m. New York local time, at 3.15, at 3.30, and then here at 3.45. And then here right at 4 a.m. New York local time for the hourly candle close. And what do we see here? So London is opening up and we dropped, the market dropped significantly. After the first five minute candle right here at 3.05, when for example, five minute breakout traders, would take this thing short after a massive bearish candle. The weak five minute candle traders got liquidated because the market pulled back straight ahead above this little high. Maybe they already, maybe they entered a too big of a position size or maybe they, yeah, whatever happened here, let's say the weak five minute traders have been liquidated here. So they reverse it within the next five minute candle and then they broke the slow as soon as the second 15 minute candle opened up here. So that's a 15 minute time window. So now 15 minute traders, they see this massive bearish candle and what they're gonna do, they're gonna take it short. And 15 minute traders, that's usually where momentum comes into the market and we eventually broke the slow. So we formed our head pattern. We don't know it's a head yet. That's why I'm saying I didn't enter down here you could have done so based on this bullish engulfing, but let's say the probability is against you. If you just enter below a previous daily low on a bullish engulfing, you could have, but only with maybe 0.1% risk. That would be manageable. And you can check the indicators, what they say. We're gonna have a look at this afterwards. So what did we form? And we see, I'm, I still waited for this first, second 15 minute time window. So really stick to it, it's a really important point here. The next 15 minute candle is opening up at 3.30 and we started to consolidate. We started to form this right shoulder. When did I enter into the market? I saw a small fair value gap being formed here on a one minute chart for all the smart money traders here. So we had this fair value gap right here and I see saw them working this low. So at the beginning, they moved it down and it got bought right back up with a bullish engulfing candle. Then we came back into this area 
and they engulfed it again and that was my signal that this thing is likely to hold i placed my entry with the stop loss at the low of the day here low of the previous day sorry with my take profit somewhere around the vwap for my first take profit and my second take profit was at the next only close at 4 a.m so right here was my first take profit where i took partials but i let like 40 percent of the trade continue and closed it at the hourly candle close which is right here so it went up for a 3.42 risk to reward and what happened after this 4 a.m candle close so hourly traders now see this bullish engulfing candle right here on a hourly chart or sort of a pin bar we had this wick to the downside but we ended up closing higher than we opened right here here's our uh, one hour candle open at 3 a.m and here is our close so we actually formed a pin bar a bullish pin bar on the one hour chart so hourly traders that's very important now they are going to see this pin bar and they want to take this thing long so what's happening right after the hourly close they trap them so they go in long right here at the beginning they get triggered into the market if they have buy stops sitting right above this high they are being triggered into the market and again weak long positions have been filtered out here so we formed this little you could call it bull flag we, we pulled back basically to the VWAP and you see how we accumulate around the VWAP to make this next move to the upside and then we bring it back to the VWAP once more and market consolidated here all those weak long positions or those weak buyers on a one hour chart that maybe again entered with a too big position size and they had to close their trade because yeah i mean they saw a big drawdown and they were scared and then they just closed their trade after which it just continued going upwards and when the timings they are crucial so right here we have the 4 15 the next 15 minute candle close and we see they wanted to take it long but it wasn't enough so they consolidated or traded in this pattern for a new 15 minute candle and that's right here i didn't enter on this trade because i was already happy with the profit i made for the day but what you could have done is you trade this falling wedge or this bull flag pattern basically right here place a stop loss on the vwap trade the breakout as soon as a new 15 minute candle is opening and we are looking for a simple two to one risk reward which would have been hit very easily later on during that day we continued consolidating right here towards the end of the london kill zone consolidated consolidated filled a few of those fair value gaps here making a new higher high so we are still in this massive uptrend so basically here we had a trading range where we went sideways with a support line that's how you can do your price action analysis and it's working really well you just have to know where to look for the reversals then head and shoulder patterns they do work if you know where to find them and where to actually take them if they're inside it doesn't really matter but if they're at a low of a previous day where, where there's lots of liquidity that is really important so we consolidated went a little bit sideways here broke up to the upside again filled those, filled those fair value gaps here consolidated again going sideways and i was looking forward that was when i recorded the risk management video earlier today i did not take the trade live i only took a demo trade basically because like i said i was happy with the profits i made for the day and i really should have left a runner to the high of the day because that was my plan afterwards since we grabbed the liquidity and we had this massive rejection of this previous day low we continued and since we consolidated very closely above the, below the previous day high i was looking forward to take this thing long and i think the setup formed right here i saw this move to the upside i marked out this fair value gap right here and i think for the first time i entered long right here during the live stream with my stop loss somewhere here for a 12 pip stop loss 
I don't really remember where the live stream setup was taking place. I just remember I caught it live. So make sure to check out the previous video up I uploaded today to see the trade I took here. I'm gonna be talking about how to trade on TradingView here with the order panel and everything. So I think it's a very powerful tool. And yeah, I'd be calling it a beautiful price action trading day. If we now check our indicators again, let's turn on the Scalper Pro here on a one minute chart. We see this head and shoulder pattern forming here as well. We are below the reversal zone, the bullish reversal zone on the Scalper Pro, which is this green band here. So this would be another extra confirmation. We also turn bullish on the Scalper Pro right on this candle. If we now open up the stochastic RSI, we see that right here, when I entered into the market, we also, before, we already had the stochastic RSI cross. And on the following candle, we broke out out of the Scalper Pro. We even got a little squeeze alert. So all of those were beautiful confirmations to enter into this position. And on the next candle right here, we got another breakout entry a little bit later on, a little bit late to the party since the stochastic RSI is already overbought. But with price action, this would have been beautiful confirmation because the Scarpa Pro turned bullish right after breaking out of this falling wedge. Very beautiful. Same here and same here. Very beautiful day to trade. Here was a little liquidity grab where they pumped it up and dumped it down basically with a nice reversal opportunity here with this sharp drop and this quick reversal directly turning bullish again. And as soon as this bearish candle is engulfed, so let's say for example, after this candle, you could have easily entered long into the market for a continuation for a higher high. Since all those weak, 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 long positions right here or short positions got quickly liquidated. And we continued up higher and afterwards, during the New York session right here at 8.30, they dumped it down because breakout traders now that got into this trend prior to the New York session were in profits and they don't like that. So what did they do? They moved it back down into an area of where most of the people get liquidated or either most of the stop losses are, stop losses are placed right here within this big bearish candle that they manip manipulated back earlier moved it back down here just to quickly reverse it back up and make a higher high just for the only reason to yeah basically get rid of all the profitable traders that got into this trend that got it right basically yeah and right now where's we formed a even higher high right here but we got a massive bearish divergence so we will find this thing very likely right around to weave up but I'd say I'm done for the day. I had some very nice trading setups today on USD JPY. I absolutely love this pair. The guys, the members of the accumulation zone been smashing it. They've been posting results on our Discord. So make sure to join our Discord and Telegram if you haven't joined our community yet. And don't forget our Black Friday sale. We currently have 50% off lifetime subscriptions. No, actually VIP subscriptions and 30% off lifetime subscription. So make sure to check it out. The links for that are in the description box below. And I'd say enjoy your day. Tomorrow's going to be Friday. We see if we take some trades because usually most of my losing trades occur during Friday. So I most of the time just avoid them, especially after such great uh, first days like today. And yeah, I'd say take care and safe trading. I'll see you in the next video.